In this lesson, we are going to implement cart screen UI. As you see in this screen, there is shopping cart items and for each item, there is an image, the title or the name of product and a quantity section. But we're not going to implement this part in this lesson. It's going to be for the next lesson and also the price column. We should have subtotal here that shows number of items and also the total price and also we implement proceed to checkout when user click on it should be redirected to sign in page very good let's go and implement this ui together go to vs code and here it's time to work on the cart screen click on explorer in the front end src screen double click on cart screen and here it's time to start coding in the render method in the return section what i'm gonna do is to get rid of this code from here and then create a dev for cart set the name to cart close it let's press enter to make it in a new line and close the step if you check the shopping cart there are two columns one column for items and the other one for action let's implement them together the first step set class to cart list and inside this step we are going to list all cart items so it should be a ul set class of this ul to cart list container and close this ul inside this the first li is gonna be shopping cart and price shopping cart and price let's implement that li and inside that create the h3 and set the title to shopping cart and close h3 and create a dev for price and close it and also close the li for next array is gonna be from cart items so let's go here and right before return function define const cart items equal to get cart items we already implement that in the local storage so here i'm going to convert cart items to li's first of all create dollar sign curly braces and here i'm going to check the length of cart items if it's equal to zero I want to show a message that cart is empty. Let's implement that dev cart is empty and put a dot and create an anchor, set anchor to the home page and invite user for shopping. Go shopping and close that anchor. What if there is at least one item in the cart items it's time to render them into the screen it should be cart items dot map i'm going to map each item in the cart item array to allies for each item what i'm gonna return is inside this backtick is li and for each li create a div and set class of this div to cart image and inside this put the image of that item it's gonna be item dot image and close it set alt to item dot name item dot name and close image also we need to close the cart image like this it's time to create cart item if you check the result cart item is this one you know the name of product and also a section for quantity and delete button let's go for it dev set class to cart name and inside that 
create a dev for product name href equal to dollar sign and inside that let's make it like this slash sharp slash product slash and here it's time to show the id of that item item dot product close this anchor and inside that what i'm gonna show is item name the product name so it's time to close this div and create another div for qty quantity for qty quantity i'm going to just use a select but the details of this select box is gonna be for the next lesson create a select and set class of it to qty select and set its id to item dot product yeah we need to close this select let's only enter a option and set value to one and close it but in next lesson we will get rid of this and replace that with the options but based on the content stock value of this product so we just created the select it's time to create a button and set type of button to button it's gonna be used for delete set class to delete button and set id to for item dot product item dot product close it and the caption should be delete and close the button and close this dev it's time to close the cart name dev like this at the end we need to create another dev and this dev is gonna show the price of each item cart price and what would be there put a dollar sign and another dollar sign curly braces for item dot price good close this one and also it's time to close the li oops there is an extra closing bracket here and there is no need to have this one close this and there is no need to backtick at all here that's it so change this line for item name in the href to this code exactly and you shouldn't get any error at this line at the end of map function right here we need to put dot join and enter new line by having this when you render li's in the screen you will not see commas between li's great so we just implemented the first column but if you check the result let's add an item it's ugly you know the image is too big uh, there is a bullet point here button is big and quantity qty is a small price is not in the right place we are going to make it like this but before going for that let's create this part too i mean the section for action that user can proceed to check out let's implement that one and at the end of this lesson we will go for styling great so after if you check this dev this dev is cart list so next to this one i am going to another another dev and set class of it to cart action to create second column and close it inside that it's time to create the h3 h3 is gonna show sub total subtotal has a parentheses and inside that i need to show number of items here is items and uh, here i'm going to calculate number of items i'm going to use reduce function on cart items array let's do that dollar sign curly braces because i'm going to write javascript code here cart items dot reduce reduce accept two parameter accumulator and current item and then it just return accumulator plus 
current item dot qty and for reducer the default value for accumulator is zero great let's put a dot here and then it's time to show subtotal put a dollar sign because it's a price another dollar sign curry braces because we are going to write javascript code this time i'm going to use reduce but this time instead of calculating number of items i'm going to calculate subtotal accumulator and current item goes to a plus c dot price multiplied by c dot qty and the default value for accumulator is zero that's it for this one it's time to close h3 and create a button this button is for proceed to check out let's set the title to proceed to check out great it's time to add id to check out button and set the class of this to primary because it's gonna be gold and fw because it's gonna be full width that's it for the html part of shopping cart and if you check the result at the end we have all elements subtotal is three items and the sum is correct and also there is a process to check out but in terms of css and styling it's not like this at all let's add some style inside style.css click on explorer and inside src folder double click on the style css go to very end and create a comment for cart and then it's time to start adding the style first of all the parent component set display to flex because we are going to put cart list and cart action next to each other and also set flex wrap to wrap because we are going to make it responsive if the window is a small action part is gonna be pushed down at the end of cart list and set align items to flex start you know as you see it just divide the screen in two section but i'm going to add more space to the shopping cart and keep subtotal in a smaller column like this let's do that cart list is gonna be flex three one sixty rem and cart action second column is gonna be flex one one twenty rem for cart action we are going to create a background and a border radius background color make it light gray f0 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 and set border radius to half a rem and create a padding like one rem that's it let's check the result it's gonna be like this i'm going to create a space around that inside the character screen at the very top for this class set content because content if you check content here it has a padding so let's scroll down and here for border make it border radius let's check the result uh -huh, i just create a radius around this like this one great let's go for the inner items it's time to create cart list container it's the ul container container it's the ul set padding to one rem and set list style type to noun good let's go for li's inside cart list container here is the code cart list container li I set display to flex set justify content to space between and set padding button to one rem and margin button to one rem two and create a border button slide border button 0 0.1 rem the color should be gray and solid let's check the result you see it just create a border 
button and items are in one row the next one is gonna be for image chart list container and for image inside that set max width to 10 rem and max height to 10 rem 2 so by having this setting images is gonna be a small like this one it's time to go for this part the first li in the list which is shopping cart and price let's fix their style set cart list container li first child and what i'm gonna do is to set align items to flex end set align items to flex end let's check the result you know it just stick to the bottom great let's go for the next style for cart image i'm going to set flex to one and one for cart name i'm going to add more space eight times bigger than in term of width eight and one and for price cart price make it like image flex is gonna be one and one good for cart price set text align to right because we are going to show them in the right aligned like this and as you see we are going to get close to the final version let's add some other style to make them exactly like each other here i am going to add cart name they are the immediate dev after cart name class and set padding to one rim also we need to set margin of h3 to zero cart list h3 set margin to zero aha uh -huh. it just work so after that it's time to set cart list button and cart list select i'm going to set the font size to a small font size let's make it 1.3 rem and also we need to set the padding to let's say half a rem aha uh -huh. here is the result they are very close to each other great in this lesson what we did together is to create cart screen and inside the cart screen we show list of items in the cart and also subtotal right here if we go to the home page and select another product and add it to cart it just show them and it works you know you see the new item is gonna be added to the shopping cart and subtotal shows four items and the total price is correct so for next session we are going to make quantity and delete button works and uh, that's the topic of next lesson until next lesson bye bye